<laughs> First day, just drinking my tea. <sighs> oh, that was good tea. So, how y'all people doing? Sorry about that. So, welcome to my channel where all the madness happens in a spins in a consolidated ray of time, though I always have time for craziness and epicness. So, what do you say we get to it? So today, hey, you know, boys and girls, what day it is? That's right. It takes me off Tuesday, yeah. Takes me off Tuesday, yeah. Okay, so today's subject You know what ticks me off on Facebook? A lot of things. Let's get started with the first thing. Facebook relationships. Whether they're real or not doesn't really matter in this case. Or so does it, you say. That's a weird sentence. Sorry. Grammar escaping my lips. Um, hmm. Facebook relationships. It's great if you're in a relationship in real life, but if you go posting that you are in a relationship where you're not really in real life, but you do it on Facebook... You're a dumbass. Because, yes, I guess it's a good way to show that like, you like somebody, but it's also a way to joke with people and make other people feel bad. Not that it's ever happened to me. Why does nobody like me? Enough to do that. Sorry, I was having a mental issue. Alright. And if it's a real Facebook relationship and you're in love, and I know a lot of people who are getting married and they post on Facebook, that's great for them. But when you're clogging up the newsfeed with kiss symbols, like kisses, 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 guess what? Puke symbol in the next five seconds. Thank you. Don't clog it up when there's more updates from actual interesting updates to go on. That's to say, I don't, that's to say, anybody who's in a relationship is not a bad person. No, 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 no. If you're in a relationship, that's a good thing. I think I applaud you. I applaud you. For being in, a good, being in a positive relationship. So long as positive and healthy. If you're in an abusive relationship, I have no advice for you right now. Because that's not what this video is about. Maybe I'll make a video on negative relationships. But right now, because we have to swing forward into the Facebooks. So, the next thing that ticks me off on Facebook is when people post things from other apps. For example, the most hated thing I hate right now in my life, in terms of apps, is Vines. Now, per now you know, I don't really have against anything against Vines, but when people go posting Vines on Facebook every five seconds, it's a little, little presumptuous. What are you giving me? Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. It's a little presumptuous. And, you know, some Vines are funny, like the guy dancing in the parking lot. That was a very funny thing. But one of the most horrid vines I've ever seen in my life, do you guys remember the Sharkista vine? Oh my, what the hell? A girl punches her friend in the jaw, and that gets fame? That gets positive reviews? That gets on the news? That is ridiculous. What? It's rid it's ridiculous. I mean, in that Sharkista is the most popular Vine to date. Yeah, you know what? That video started a bunch of fan, a, a bunch of raving lunatics who are angry and boycotting on Vine from keeping that video on the site. And as well, it started a new kind of game slash bag called Knockout, where friends go around punching each other. That's what we should be teaching the youth of America. Go punch each other's lights out. That'll get you ahead in life. That'll get you some friends. Oh, hey, Josh, can I punch? Can I, let's play a game. Okay, what game do you want to play? Oh, let's play Knocked Out. How do you play? Well, you do this. And you knock somebody's teeth right out. People. That passes for entertainment? That... That's like saying, that's like saying Honey Boo Boo is the most watchable and likable thing on TV. No, 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 no. 
But let's get past it, because I have other things to talk about. Uh, mainly other apps. Another app that really ticks me off is... I forgot the name of it. Is it Blitz Strips? What is it? Blitz Strips? Yeah. Blitz Strips. Bit Strips. Bit Strips. Now, normally I would not have a problem because they're, they're funny. Yeah, they're crazy. They're funny. They're creative. They're nice little com digital comic book things. But they're annoying too because people will express every little thought and emotion through it they're feeling. And I honestly feel like most people who most people I know who use bitch strips on Facebook can make a comic book about how depressing their lives are. If it was me, I would have a full page 27 volume. And would not sell for anything because nobody would buy I a book that says how depressing my life really is. Though I know a few autobiographies by some celebrities who sell very well. By Oprah's biography. That should be about the rate. Mm. So, where am I going with this? Well... I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore. I was talking about bit strips, and then we got something over to Oprah. Here's a bit strip. Here's a bit strip. Here's a bit strip. Here's a bit strip. I'm giving you all bit strips that are sick. It's team new, brand new cars. Toyota included. No insurance. All we get. All states. Hmm. All right. What other? Let's move on. Let's move on. Other apps that take me out on Facebook. You know what? I'm not ticked off by Instagram. Somebody asked me, do you get annoyed when you see Instagram photos on Facebook? No. No, I'm not annoyed because I like how creative a lot of people are. Pinterest, same thing. Hmm. Uh, but it's mostly vines and bitch strips that annoy the hell out of me. So, you know what? That's what really ticks me off about Facebook and everything. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave it down in the comments what you want me to talk about for Ticks Me Off Tuesday next week. Um, let me know what ticks you. Let me know what ticks you off down in the comments, and I'll mention it someplace in the next week or so with Ticks Me Off Tuesday. And also, question of the day, guys. Um, I can't think of a question. What's your favorite flavor of tea? Mine is. Whatever gold peak sweet tea is or black tea. So I'm supposed to be shoving. Well, I just been told that I'm shouting, so I'm gonna quiet my voice. I'm gonna quiet my voice, okay. So, what was I saying before I was so early interrupted? You have to be more snarky. There's more snarkiness in a, in a low voice than there is in a loud shouting voice. Who are you? Why are you touching I'm, me like I'm that? I'm Queen of English. And snarkyism goes a long way, believe me. Alright. So, what was I saying before? Oh, yeah. Leave it down in the comments what you want me to talk about for tick the next Ticks Me Off Tuesday. I do this every Tuesday. And, um... I don't know. Also, question of the day, guys. I don't know what the question of the day is. What's your favorite flavor of tea? Mine is whatever Gold Peak sweet tea is. Or black, or when I'm out of that, I drink black tea. And if I'm out of that, orange juice or water. So, it doesn't get more exciting than talking about orange juice and hydration for the body. <laughs> Remember, kids, keep hydrated. It'll keep you throughout the day. So, that's this rendition of this takes me off Tuesday, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to hit the subscribe button, subscribe, and become a member to the madness. And as always, ways whether it's tomorrow or a thousand years from today, I will always have time to talk to you guys. All right, peoples. Bye. Oh, I'm waving with the wrong hand. Sorry. Bye.